looks like we got everything. Put a couple pieces of scrap wood in case there's none there. Not a bunch because I also have a propane stove and may not be able to uh, have a fire. So I don't know yet. Not a big deal. Up here, my dog's pretty large. So I put his bed and I put like uh, dry goods, dry food goods underneath it to make it a little more level for him. And my shower tent is sitting on top of that to level it out a little bit. But he'll sit up here, he always does. No getting around. Getting ready for a one or two day uh, trip, road trip. We're gonna go somewhere in Colorado uh, where I live, of course. So again, make sure everything's in here. All right. Get, I got some food to take with me. Not too much, we're gonna be gone a day or two. So sausage patties, um, pork chops, and some beef and miscellaneous and um, different stuff like that. Just real basic, some fruit and a couple yogurts and stuff. I don't do a lot of vegetables unless it's in a salad. I feel like making a salad. So I had a couple fruits. Really, this right here, I got the little packs. It's really for my dog, the little packs of meat. It's really for him. And of course, some eggs. With everything, and how'd you get in there? You don't need to be in there. And that's basically it. You know, so anyway, that's what I got. Getting ready to roll out. Don't really need the water in there. I'm just putting it in there anyway. So, gotta run back to the house real quick because I forgot beer. And I didn't feel like buying it here when I got beer right down the street at home after I fell up and started hitting the road. All right, here we are in Salida. I tried to find a BLM, but my dog yanks me, but it started getting late and so I pulled into I pulled into one of the um, state uh, paid camps I really didn't want to but it works I I actually worked last night so I'm really really tired so I worked 10 hours basically went home took a shower and hopped on the road me and bear over here it's cold but cool but I gotta test the van out and see where we're at so here we go all right, Frugal Panda here. So last night I got to Salida and sorry, I'm not using my GoPro. I'm trying to get the sun out of the way. Okay. Um, I worked last the night, what? I had been up since 7.30 p.m. on Sunday, Monday night. I don't even remember, what is day, Wednesday? Up since Monday. I'd been up since 7.30 on Monday and decided right before to pack up the van and as soon as I got off of work which was at 8 30 in the morning on Tuesday to go home just take a shower grab the dog and um, take off it's because I hadn't tested my bed and all that stuff um, beforehand uh, I just woke up by the way so I drove and drove, trying to find BLM land more so, but you, it, it, I'm in Colorado. So I'm in now Salida, Colorado. I live in Denver, so I don't know, what is that, 200 or so miles. And so I was gonna drive until I found it. And you gotta be careful whatever state you're in and realizing that it's not always as simple. There's tons of BLM land out here, but if you don't plan it out well, and I thought I had it planned out well, but I didn't. Um, actually, I didn't plan it out well. I just planned it, let's be honest. And to drive and then find something. And it starts getting dark here early. And I had no sleep. So, and I'm fine. I popped on the road and driven and driven. But usually it's going to like a city or something. So, I just stop at a rest stop or something like that. But I wasn't trying to stop at a rest stop. Um, so, it started getting dark. I, I'm not from this area. And finally I said, forget it. Cause it's almost a Walmart parking lot. I said, man, I didn't come out here to test it in a Walmart parking lot. I didn't do that any time. I did that five miles from my house, to be honest with you. So I came out here, I found, was it Salida, the Salida East Rec Center. So I had to pay 28 bucks. 
and then nine dollars for vehicle pass for the day i they want to know if i want to spend the eighty dollars just for the whole year and i thought about it and i might end up doing it just to have it and then it's only like nine dollars i think for the passes for the vehicles wherever is one of these at it's not bad it's nice i'm right by the river and stuff i'll show a picture of it in a little bit i think it's a river anyway it was late when i got here and um i had to call do all this make a reservation um, and I get it, you know, you gotta do that, but you gotta be careful because some areas depend on your services, you don't have service, so you can't even make the call. But if I do use one of these in the future, which I will, I'll use them here and there, because I think I might get the pass. Um, you know, I um, will definitely do it probably in the future, so more than likely I'll get the pass, but I didn't wanna do it on a budget, I was just doing a test. So anyway, we're here. Let's see if you can see him down there. If you see Bear. Bubba. There he is. Right down there. It got down to about, oof. You got into the teens last night. I was pretty comfortable. Let's see. Ugh, there he is. All right, so it got down into the teens. Not a big deal. Um, it got cold a little bit more so what it came down to because I don't have my um, my Sub-Zero sleeping bag so I didn't have my Sub-Zero sleeping bag no big deal um, I have tons of blankets and I have like a 30 probably a 30 degree one the only thing I was I got tired we cooked and all that and me and him ate and I got in here, I laid on top of the covers with the sleeping bag, that's how tired I was. So I woke up and you get lazy and you're like, oh, and you just reposition, you feel a little cold. And then finally I got up, started the vehicle for a minute, actually took the blanket, which is pretty heavy, it's not on me now, but put it over my sleeping bag and I was good for the night. I was like real good. And I got him a little blanket that he sits on up front so he doesn't shed, but you know, hair still comes off of dogs and stuff. Anyway, that's what we did and it worked out well. Um, he slept, he slept good. I let him out uh, during the night. I was not getting outside. <laughs> you know, I wasn't going out there to take him out to pee, but I have like one of those long leashes that I use for outdoors for him that's like 20 feet or whatever it is. So I just clipped it onto the seat belt um, hold her up inside and open the door and let him go out and he went out and I think Peter did something and brought him back in I go out later and check to make sure so I make sure I clean up after myself you know, after my dog and everything if he did do anything else anyway and then he came back in closed it up and went back to bed for a while my sleep was a little broken like I said it got cold the first time and then also um, sometimes I'm like that when I come off a night shift um, but slept pretty good it wasn't too shabby all right as you can see he's laying on the floor right here here's the bed you can see the yellow or whatever color that is it's whatever i got on sale he's laying on the floor the car is run, the van's running right now so he's laying right here he could he was laying down here um too but he decided to lay that way so he has his little blanket from up front he has his little dog bed um, that actually sits in the front seat too. What my Pringles in my, um, that container right there actually sits in the front seat. It's got like food stuff in it. And so it sits in the, in the floorboard of the front seat. And so to even it out so he has more room because he will not stay back here. He always writes up front. It's just how it is. And so it makes it where it's a flat surface so he can actually relax. So that's his blanket, and you know, he's laying right here. And like I said, he doesn't have to lay like that, he'll do that. Um, if the bed was lower, he'd be trying to get up here with me and lay at the foot of it and all that stuff. Um, so he slept comfortable, he's a big dog. All right, I woke up a little bit more. Um, so anyway, it's about 8.30 or so right now, so. Um, the main thing, the main reason for taking that is one, I wanted to get away for a day or two, and I also needed to test this van build. This bed, excuse me, excuse me. Um, like I said, I've been, I had been up since 
Tuesday at 7 30 or excuse me Monday 7 30 p.m. all the way until I actually found this place at almost 5 o'clock p.m. on Tuesday night um, so what I found doing this and I'm glad I did this before I do any like real major trips or anything was I can trim the bed down some it might be a little too large for what I need it for and also I'm going to lower it the reason being is I'm not sitting on the bed I'm sitting on my little folding chair right here next to the bed and my dog's up on he's a, he's a large dog so he's up on the bed now I made him get up on the bed which he didn't fight me on he likes to be on the bed he sits on the bed at home so ain't no big deal so uh, I need to lower the bed so I can sit up straight more on the bed and also reduce the width of it because I think I'm kind of wasting space with it uh, and make it lower all it has is bins under it and bins as you, anyone knows you can get bins of all different sizes and what I found out was that I have to do I have to be a little bit better arranging when it's cold because when it's not cold it's not a big deal you go outside you get your stuff you move it around but when you're talking it starts getting into the 30s and 20s and stuff like that and you're trying to reach under and grab stuff because you don't want to go back outside because you took your shoes off you know all that your boots off and all that so better rearranging also reducing some stuff I'm not going to use I used my Coleman two burner stove last night and I realized when it's just me and him and depending on what type of weather it is if it's cold I do not need the Coleman just to use my little single burner that sits on top of the propane that's a lot easier takes up less space a lot easier to cook with you know all that good stuff and I had that with me too uh, so I'm gonna use that this morning this morning I haven't decided if I'm gonna go somewhere else or I'm gonna head home because I got some new ideas um, to do with the van right now but I'm gonna in a minute get done clean up cook um, and investigate and there's anything else I want to see while I'm in this area um, but definitely it was good oh in the refrigerator I have underneath here the set power FC 20 it's been plugged into the Jackery which the Jackery is plugged into my 13 or my um, my converter that's built into the caravan it's built into the caravan so it ran all the way here for I don't forget how long I drove maybe four hours when it's all said and done so it's still at 100 percent of course running off the van i also have a 90 watt solar panel um on the side that i haven't pulled out yet and i won't pull out here because i gotta be out here by noon and i don't really have no reason i already know the jackery has power and i also have a backup jackery 162 that can power it too probably for about eight hours or so but it did fine honestly i started thinking i could have probably just took the refrigerator and I didn't want to do that because there's critters in the area, but or left it in the front seat or something. It would it probably drop cold enough. I'm gonna have to test it with an internal uh, with a temperature thing and see how cold it gets in this van sometimes at night. Who knows? Could see it may not have to do anything. Uh, it's cold enough for uh, the frost to freeze on the inside of the window. So hey. Anyway, I got a couple ideas and things like the main things. The key points are lowering the bed, uh, cutting the width, or building another bed and cutting down the width and doing a better build the second time because you know when you do something the first time you you do okay but I know the next one I do would be a lot better and a lot quicker to do too um so like I said clean up clean myself up let him sit in here on the bed and relax cook me and him some breakfast I forgot to bring dog food luck I have dog biscuits but it, it doesn't really matter most of the time when we have dog food I bring it for him he eats very little of it because what I eat he eats and I'm not talking about he just licks the pan or something I cook a lot of food because I know I have ham so like I bought spam when I was at the thing because I wasn't at the store because I was not gonna buy more dog food when I have it at home so I bought him I bought spam so <laughs> he's got spam and eggs and all that stuff and, and things like that he's fine he'd rather have that type of stuff anyway so anyway i'll see what i'm doing for the rest of the day it might be i might call it a day or i might stop somewhere else uh, and, and do one more night so anyway this frugal panda i'll show you everything else a little bit later there we go i'm sitting right next to slow moving river i haven't even looked it up to see which river it is to be honest with you i was so tired last night i don't it could have been 
probably a dumpster by the time I finally settled down. Um, anyway, that's the view as I cook a little bit of sausage patties and have some eggs and some grapes and stuff. Uh, this morning before I decide what I'm going to do, if I'm going to head back, there's a possibility I may head back because my job called me. Unfortunately, I have service out here and begged me to work. Um, and so, and it's not tomorrow, but it's a couple of days from now and it's going to be a, a grind week, a bunch of night shifts together. So I don't know. I'll decide. I might stay. We'll see. But regardless, uh, waking up to this is pretty cool. Anyway, y'all. Have a good day. All right. So here we are out here walking. Let's see, show you where we're at. Come on, Bubba. There's the van. Over by, gosh, I don't know the name of this river. I didn't even look. All right, here we are out here in Salida, whoo, son, Salida, Colorado. Over here by me and the dog, over here by a nice little river. And um, as I said in the previous video, I don't want to go over too much. I was really tired and just had to find a place. So I had to pay to stay here. Uh, I might get the pass, the yearly pass. There's a lot of wreck rec places in Colorado to check out. And um, why not, you know? I'll think about when I get home because, okay, so it's 80 bucks for the year that she told me. I paid $28 yesterday. My dog's pulling me. Um, but I just started thinking about it and I was like, hmm. There's still a lot of places I can go, especially for quick trips overnight. And if I do stay at any of them, it's like nine bucks. So what is that? You know, compare that to a hotel, you know, so I might go ahead and get it. Um, I'm going to have to reevaluate going to Zion. I've been hearing that it's super packed right now. And so I don't want to uh, be anywhere where it's like super packed and it's hard to get into. Cause that ain't really camping this one i went to um was pretty empty honestly um it's not much uh it was like two people and it's a pretty huge park heard the river the whole night got down into the teens at least last night put it this way i put his water out for him to drink and it froze over like within <laughs> minutes you know so yeah i was cold because I was lazy. I hopped under the sleeping bag, which is not a Sub-Zero. I have a Sub-Zero at home. I didn't bring it. I brought a 30 degree one. Um, finally, I woke up because I had to, I had to pee. So basically I woke up because I had to pee, all that stuff. And finally I was like, what the heck am I doing? I got a big old cover, good quality cover. Um, and got under, put it over my um, sleeping bag and I was super warm. As I said before, you guys saw my dog slept on the floor on his little bed pad, his doggy, his doggy bed. And you know, he, he did that. And um, I threw his little cover from up front on top of him. He didn't shake it off. So obviously he was good. He stays pretty warm. He's a sheep dog, sheep a doodle really. But he just had a haircut not too long ago. So he's not as thick as he usually is. So. He was fine. He was good. Started the car a couple times just because I had to get up and pee. Um, didn't pull out the little buddy heater. So I didn't pull out the little buddy heater. And um, what I've learned is I didn't have my stuff together here. So let's see where we're walking to. And what I learned was, one, I had too much stuff, for one. Two, I did not have my stuff set up the way I needed to do. So that's the one thing I'd recommend, like I said, when you're doing van camping, all that good stuff, is that you do a test night at least to check it out before you go on anything really major. So you know what you need, what you don't need. My Coleman, two burner i will not be bringing it 
with me most of the time unless I'm doing a major one and it's going to be warm weather say like Arizona or somewhere like that because my I use my little single burner this morning and I used the double one the other day and it just takes up room more than anything I didn't use it the little one worked great and I honestly I cook things one at a time anyway or I threw everything together you know sausage and eggs and all that put it all together let's show you so this is where we're at you see the highway you might see some cars going by up there um it's cold out here everyone i'm warm it's i don't even have my coat on the sun's out it's one thing about colorado the sun's out so it's not even though it's in i think it's still in the teens or very least low 20s i'm still pretty warm toes a little frosty a little cold but i didn't bring my north face i brought my other boots which are supposed to be insulated it's more so probably my socks than anything but not a big deal so that's where we're at. I gotta leave. Checkout is at noon. So it's like 10.40 or something. So I'm gonna go by, use the bathroom. Oh, I cleaned up today. Thanks Static Camper Van. I watched this little thing. Um, Static Camper Van is the guy who, he lives in his van. And he, um, what he does is he, he, he um, a lot of times, especially when the pandemic hit, hit he was washing up in his van and uh, he works. So he had a job and everything and he did it that way. And so anyway, he used Dr. Bronner. So I tried, I tested it today, used Dr. Bronner's, made me some soapy water and all that stuff and cleaned up. And I feel pretty good actually. I feel a lot better than I usually do when I'm camping after a day or two, even though I clean up because wipes kind of make you all sticky. and. Sticky feeling. It reminded me when I was in the army, we'd always use wipes and I felt like a little baby or something. So anyway, hats off to uh, Static Camper Van for that little bit of advice he gave. I did get the Dr. Bronner's, used it, it worked great. Uh, put a little bit of it in soapy water. To, my dishes right now are soaking because I, I made eggs and stuff like that. So I usually I'd use the vinegar water and all that stuff, but you know, there's no real, there was, uh, I have to scrape that stuff off. So that's the reason I'm using it. So I recommend Dr. Bronner's. I'll leave a link in the description for everyone. And it's, it works good. It comes in a big bottle. Uh, I got the peppermint. I think, she, I think it helps you make it feel more refreshed and everything. Where I'm at, they do have bathrooms. I don't know if they have showers. I'm not taking a shower. Don't need one. I cleaned up and everything. So I'm good to go. Did it this morning, tested it in the van. What I said, what I found out is I need to make the bed a little bit narrower. Uh, reduce some of the stuff I have especially when I'm bringing the dog because my dog is pretty big uh, just so I have a little bit more room in the back to maneuver drop the bed a few inches so I can sit straight up uh, stuff like that no big deal it works let's get another picture where we're at like I said it was real quiet last night I guess there was highway noise a little bit I did not hear it at all um, I run a little fan at night too. So yeah, we're in Salida at the Arkansas station. Go back up here real quick. Go ahead and start heading out. Decide what I'm gonna do. There's some BLM land, land I researched. I'm a, I might check it out, depends what it looks like. Remember, I'm in a van, a uh, front wheel drive van and it did pretty well, it did really well. Uh, but I do not have winter tires. I have Michelin Defender all season. Does pretty good. But I was just looking at them. And it's time for a rotation. Uh, tread's not bad in the front, but I got a heck of a lot of tread. Way more. Looks practically new in the back. And that probably has to do with the long trips that I did earlier. Uh, or most of the last year. A couple thousand mile trips back and forth. So, yeah. Not a bad day out, especially in Colorado because of the sun. Of course, my dog has me all twisted up. You know, I always worry with him on ice and stuff like that. I'm trying to yank. There he is. Let him lead. I wonder if he really knows where he's going or he just smells where a dog was. <laughs> you see the van over there? There's the mountains. There's, oh, there was bathrooms right there. Okay, I'm gonna go put him up, run to the bathroom, clean my dishes, we'll head out. 
I'm sorry. Let me show you what a campsite looks like. Um, I didn't really show you. So this is a campsite right here. I'm guessing the little outline with wood right here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's for tent camping, right? When you say right here with the gravel and everything. No, you're not going to poop in there. Someone's probably going to sleep there or something. Um, so that's what it looked like where you camp if you were tent camping or put up probably like a little shelter or something to be next to the river. Uh, you got picnic table. You have a fire pit right here. Got a little bit of trees around you too. It's actually pretty, it's pretty. Especially if you're coming up to Salida to check it out. It's a cute little town. Check it out. Switch back from my GoPro. I was just chewed up like bubble gum on my way out here. I grabbed the wrong SD card, didn't grab my charger for it, or for my MacBook. So I'm gonna head on home. Uh, I got what I needed done in regards to understanding the van a little better and how my build works and what does and what does not. But yeah, so no more switching out SD cards and make sure I have an extra one in there instead because I use, use it for other things too. Uh, no more of that. I'll order another one also just to have for those needs. Yeah, no charger. <laughs> I had enough foot. I had enough for um, to make it back home um, in regards to charge. But oh, guess what? The SD card ran out. So on the phone. But as you can see, look at those beautiful, beautiful mountains and stuff. Um, roads are clear. Snow on each side. Yeah, pretty nice. Very enjoyable drive, guys into fair play so what i've found is 285 is where all the forest access are this is 285 um, this is fair play i probably passed 10 different uh, national forest access roads so keep it in my mind keep it in this video i just took the wrong way in basically side note park county where fair play and all that is is an area that if you want to buy land in Colorado that's not as restrictive in regards to regulations. They do have regulations, of course, uh, and it's cheap versus you can get cheaper land down south, but it's going to be desert and tundra areas. This area right here, let's see, you can get land for a pretty decent price still. Uh, so anybody interested in checking out Park County for land, uh, look it up and see Here we go Can't remember going coming down the mountains Right now I'm not I'm not driving fast or anything just taking it slow you know. The roads have been fairly clear right now. No, they've been really clear So 15 miles to Bailey Just got those rocks Oof. Look at that. Always take it slow around these corners. Um, you never know. It could be a patch of ice. A lot of people live, live in uh, these areas right here um, that commute to Denver. They come to Denver to get the, you know, to make really good money. The money is not that much here. Uh, cost of living is expensive up here. Not necessarily like it is in Denver area. And you can get a small little place cabin and stuff. It's still fairly affordable in comparison to down there. Now, I'm probably now about 40 miles, I would guess, outside of Colorado. Uh, excuse me, Colorado, out of Denver. And so the little town we're, we're coming into will be Bailey. Uh, I know a lot of people I work with at one of the hospitals work, uh, live here, live in this area. Cause it's the mountains, it's cute. There's a lot of stuff to do up here. Now the only thing about it is it snows in Denver. We get sun like it is today where you get clear skies in the middle of winter and all that. But when it, it snows pretty good in Denver, but it snows up here. So a lot of them tell me like how they 
you know, put snow chains on and everything. I lied, we're 57 miles away from Denver. So within an hour, but when it hits wintertime and it's really snowing up here, it may take you two or three hours to get down the mountain. And sometimes they do close um, the highway, depending on how treacherous it is. But they try and keep it open, and I think they're really good at clearing it, just be good. Ski resorts and all the income and all that good stuff. It's like the airport in the middle of a blizzard. The airport road would be super clear um, <laughs> because people got to get to the airport. So, but gorgeous area, very calming area. Interested? Check out Bailey, Colorado, or just the vicinity around Bailey. You might find something you really like, or just come up in this area and start checking it out. Check it out. Look at how it is. Woo. Take it slow. You don't want to slide off or anything. Everything looks clear, but you never know. When you hit the shade in Colorado, your mountains with those wind gusts and everything, uh, there could be patches of ice. So just take it slow in the winter. You'll see people fly through here and all that stuff. And they, they can. They're used to being up here, some of them. Um, I drive this going camping and stuff. Not as much in the winter. I usually take I-25. So... They might know a little bit better than I do. I take it slow just because, no, I don't want a headache. One last town, that's Conifer. Conifer is another little cute little town. I know people that live there too. Um, it's pretty cool to go camping. Uh, not necessarily camping for me, but like there's some cool trails in this area too. Pretty much that's it. Thought I might have some more. I thought there was an area that was real cute. I might have already passed through it though. And it might have been off to the side. So anyway, now all it is is down, once you pass Bailey and all, it's all downhill into Denver.